Hey guys, oh, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Today it's time for the last of the year, my monthly flip through video. And this is the first monthly flip through in this Mo term. Um, I set this up with December, so you can check out my monthly play with me video uh, to see. It's not really an unboxing because I couldn't, I couldn't wait to unbox it. It was a birthday gift. Um, this is the A7. Um, as to the pebble leather or whatever they call it. I, I'm not a fan of the croc look, you know, unless it's an actual crocodile skin. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so it's gray on the outside with the orange on the inside. And I've got, let's see, some sticky notes in the front here because I was just using those. Um, there's like, I think one quarter in the front, a uh, little zipper pocket. And then in the back, I'm using all of these card slots. And this is my wallet. There's a couple more cards in the back pocket here. And then because, of the cards taking up so much space. Um, I have room to hang on to my friction pen um, for most of the time. I take it out when I'm gonna like move stuff around or if, I, if, if it's interfering with opening up the pages, I'll remove it. But when I'm carrying things around, there's actually room for it. And it's been nice to kind of have it for some of the spreads that I like to use it for. Um, so let's see, oh, the back pocket has the general um, like a, I keep a blank check or two back here, um, some cash, some stickers, and some pieces of paper. I still have these plastic dividers, which I really love, but they're from a shop that I don't believe is active anymore, unfortunately. Um, this is a monthly from my Summer Touch. Uh, I've been setting up some weekly goals, which is nice, um, and... Yeah, daily, uh, more just like date specific tasks versus events on the side because there's plenty of room and I didn't want to use this as a tracker. Um, my line of day journal, I really need to fill out this tracker because I am up to date as of recording on the 15th. Um, I just haven't been filling out the tracker, so whatever. It's pretty colored full stripes, and so that's something. Someday maybe list. These are all old. I mean, they've been in here for forever because they don't need to be updated very often. Um, the next tab, this is back to my general, like, usual setup where um, the first tab here is for my weeklies. So these are my three favorite people. And I've been using this weekly setup from my Summer Touch. I'll show you the whole thing. Um, we've got, like, the hourly stuff over here uh timed you know sections for dates and then this one here says weekend but i covered it up and put here my dinner um plan so this is like a menu planning but really just it's a list of things that i have ingredients for um and then every day i will go in and pick something from that list to make or at least maybe for the day ahead because like Today, I moved the chicken to the fridge to defrost, but it takes like more than 24 hours to defrost the chicken breast. So I served my family chicken nuggets because those bake from frozen. So this is this week. I really like this uh, gold washi tape. The stripes seem really festive to me. I was gonna put some here, but forgot to, so maybe I'll do that later. Um, but it's been the same setup. Um, you can check out my weekly plan with me uh, of this last week if you want to sort of see my thought process behind it all. But then I've got enough in here for the rest of the month. And then I'll move on to new things in the new year. Um, I'm planning on doing some 2021 planning maybe this weekend. Um, this section is... This has been the same. If you follow me, this is pretty much the same. This is the like reference section. So this is a list of the books that are checked out from the library. We got some new ones recently. Um, and they Our library is doing curbside pickup, which is amazing and great. <laughs> um, and the other thing that's great is they are not enforcing due dates right now. So we've kind of just been hanging on to books for a long time, but I returned the things that we had and got a new set of things. My daughter really enjoys library books and kind of wants to just keep them forever um, but she's still quoting Fox and Socks even after I returned it uh, a to watch list and then on the back is stuff that I want to watch with my husband though I think he watched the boys without me so I need to watch that myself but I'm currently in the middle of season five of Star Trek TNG and it's really good I've never watched Star Trek before and just on a whim decided to try it out and now I'm hooked so 
Um, this next tab is for like projects, sort of general projects, is where I have my inbox, which is just a piece of paper to jot down notes if I need to. Um, and the only note currently is hidden, so sorry. Um, and then these here, and you saw that um, back with the other tab as well. It's my sticky note index to just kind of keep track of what's in this section without having to go digging around looking for stuff. So I basically have two things here. I have my garden planning. So this is my square foot garden. Um, and this is like a log of when I plant stuff because I've been trying to like sort of rotate it so that it's not all ready to harvest at the same time. We're just now starting to get some stuff out of it and I'm going to be doing a um, garden tour video finally um, this Sunday. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're not already because that's coming on Sunday. I finally have some stuff to show you out there. So, And then this is like craft projects. This is a list of things that are sort of in the <laughs> needing to be done. Just a couple things I promised my husband I would fix for him and keep forgetting. And then these are notes on a current project. When I say current, I mean that it's not done yet. Um, this tab is empty and this tab is secret. So this tab is Christmas. Basically these three top tabs are just supposed to be for like three projects that I'm currently working on. And like the idea is to finish them to clear off this, clear out the tab. And then, you know, so maybe I should put my garden under tab one, but, um, yeah, currently Christmas is tab three. And I will show you the first thing here, um, which is my list of Christmas movies. Uh, I write this out, like I copy basically the list to a new Bujo every year, but it's basically the same list every year. But the difference is that like things move around from different streaming services. So I went through and I found out where all of the movies I wanted to watch were located. Um, some are not available. Like I hear that, um, I didn't even write it down. I think the Peanuts specials are on like Apple TV and that's not my jam. So we don't have that one. Um, but it's a Wonderful Life is on Prime. A lot of stuff is on Disney Plus and some's on Netflix. Um, oh, A Muppet Family Christmas can be found on YouTube. I'm not saying that it's legal. It probably isn't, but it's there. And it is the best Christmas special. So you should look it up. Uh, the rest of this section is kind of secret, so I don't want to get into it too much, you know, in case you're watching and your, your gift is on that list or something. And then this next tab is channel stuff. So I'll show you this here is like my list of videos upcoming and I check them off when they're done. I've had this for the whole year and I finally just like a few weeks ago removed the first like quarter of the year or the first half of the year, September, October, first like, yeah, th three pages of this. So, uh, yeah, it's just the last couple of months, but I'm not going to show you the rest of this section either. Um, this section here is future log. So none of this ever really changes, but I, um, I just got the 2021 Peanuts Planner Co. Dated Bundle, and I'm going to be, like I said, setting up 2021 coming up. Um, so that's always great. I always get the Dated Bundle in her Black Friday sale because it's like 50% off printables or something. And so I have a lot of peanut points <laughs> on her website that I haven't spent. Um, and then this is and afterwards. I was just getting a comment from, was it Darling? Uh, one of my subscribers was commenting how she was trying to find this. And it is, it's tr tricky to find. And I'm going to have to look it up again because I always forget. But I believe that this is like the cover page of a dated monthly freebie from like 2018 or 2017 or something. Um, and so, yeah, it's difficult to find, but there's a way to do it and print them back to back. Um, anyway, this is my birthdays and anniversaries collection. And I recently just this year found out that I have my husband's cousin's birthday wrong. So I have to find the white out and fix that. And then reoccurring tasks. I want to try to maybe do this a different way next year because it's a little bit messy this way. And I think I could do it more succinctly. So updates on that when they are available. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, I have a couple notes in the back here of like the inserts that I'm going to need to either locate or print out. I know a couple of these I already have like extras printed of because you get like four pages for pocket size and I don't need all of them all at once. So, um, I think it, at least one or two of these I already have printed out, but, um, 
I am looking forward to setting up for 2021. It's always exciting to have like a lot of new stuff to set up all at once instead of just your, you know, one month at a time. I don't do a lot of like sitting down and adding stuff to my journal. Um, I guess that I just is not necessary for me, but yeah, I, what I have works and so I'm sticking with it. So if that's today's video is very boring for you, that means you're a good friend and you're already subscribed. But if this is brand new and exciting, do subscribe, ring the bell. I post videos twice a week, so I'll see you in the next one, which I mentioned is going to be a garden tour on Sunday. Bye. Thank you.